I have never heard or seen such outrageous, vicious, distorted reporting in 27 years of public life. And the animosity between White Houses and political reporters is nothing new. Mr. President, Mr. President. Nixon hated the press. It was maintained what was called an enemy's list. I was on Nixon's enemies list. He broke into my office. He went through my income tax every year. He did all kinds of outrageous things. The 1970s up until now, there's been a concerted effort to delegitimize, to attack, to tear down, and to replace what we would call the mainstream media. We've now reached this moment when we can firmly announce uh, the starting of a Fox News channel. Most of the press I call willing accomplices to the liberal power base in Washington. But the number two reason for distrust of the media is self-inflicted wounds. Good evening. There are new questions tonight about President Bush's service. CBS News has exclusive documents. Several experts saying they're fake. A scandal dubbed Rathergate rocked CBS News. Our own mistakes, missteps, shortcomings, outright errors and falsehoods, just sloppiness. The New Republic fired Stephen Glass after learning he had made up facts. Patricia Smith making up quotes and characters. The Cincinnati Inquirer after a series of articles the paper says were untrue. The decline of trust in the press isn't the product of the last four years, it's the product of the last 40. When people are pounded night after night, uh, with that kind of frantic, hysterical reporting, it naturally shakes their confidence. But the difference between Nixon and Trump is that Trump is so against the essential value of a free press that he feels he doesn't have to pay it any respect at all.